Hi guys, Harley from Vape Mill. This week I've been using the Aspire Reacts. Um, as I've said on past, uh, I think I said on the unboxing, which by the way I'll link to in the uh, description. Um, I'm not a massive fan of Aspire due to uh, a tank guide that I really didn't like uh, about four, five, probably six years ago. Um, however, I'll give it a go. Um, it's not all that bad. Uh, Let's do some info about it. It stands at 115 millimeter high, 31.5 wide. It's got a two mil tank. The tank is the Tion, T I G O N tank. Um, and as you can tell, it looks very much like the Cube. Um, the Cube's sub ohm only, obviously. As this is mouth to lung or direct to lung. Um, mouth to lung or direct to lung, yeah. Um, the airflow. Also count as that. I doubt you can see it was three dot well five dots there and on the other airflow it's fully open. So it kind of forces you to do uh, mouth to lung. Uh, which can be good. Um, the coil the recoiling is quite nice because it's just a pull in, pull out system. Um, so if you take off the bottom, there you'll see that the coils just pull out. Throw it away, put a new one in, or wash it out, depending. Um, bottom of the tank there for you. And then the uh, mod. The uh, wattage, if you're using a sub ohm coil, it goes on bypass mode and it'll choose what wattage you use. Obviously, it's better wattage for higher charge your batteries are, but that's just obvious. Um, and then for mouth to lung, it's, I believe, where is it? Mouth to lung, it uses, I've lost it, 8 watts, 10 watts, 12 watts, 14 watts, and 16 watts, which you can change by pressing the bottom button, and a minute it'll be on bypass. And obviously you can't change bypass, as you've just seen by where the uh, indicator's on the bottom. You can't change a bypass. Um, because like I said it chooses what it's going to give you. Um, 1600 milliamp hour battery which is quite nice. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it's been lasting me because I really am a massive chaser. Um, so I haven't been using it all that often. However, I put it on charge and I'm adamant that it will fully charge within less than an hour. So that is really impressive. Um, it's got the light indicator on the bottom. If we can find it, it's got the light indicator on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's currently lighting blue. Um, I'll put it in the bio. I can't remember off the top of my head what um, what colours mean, what percentage. Uh, I imagine it'll be rough. In fact, I do remember that it's voltage. It doesn't actually look at the percentage of a battery. It looks at the voltage, um, which I suppose all, all do. Um, you can get me silver, blue, purple or black, and that's pretty much all the info I've got to give you. Uh, there was a bit of a struggle on the unboxing. Um, I'll be trying to fill it. You literally, that black rim, it's quite elegant, you lift it with a black rim and then push it back. Which is nice safety feature to make sure you don't leak all over your pocket. Um, I like it. When I first... Um, Put liquid in it. I thought it was shit hot. Uh, the nice flavour. I thought, ooh, I can quite get used to this. Um, however, I don't know if it's going to be subliminal as well. I kind of lost the flavour as well uh, midweek. Um, I'm not sure if it's been burning my pocket. I don't think it has, but it does taste a little bit burnt. I, I, I'm definitely not getting the flavour that I got from at the beginning of the week. But I would say that the coil lasts between one week to two weeks. Which I reckon is pretty much standard as well. Um, my opinions are it feels really good in your hand. It's nice and small. And I, I, I'd suggest it as a start kit for anybody. I have stock it, in fact, I've just sold one. Um, I do like it. It looks cool. Feels cool. It's not massive in your pocket. In fact, there's been one or two points this week where I thought, which pocket is it? And I can't find it because I wear combats. Um, but yeah, that's, that's as uh, much as I've got to say about it, really. Uh, I've decided in future I'm only going to um, do some equipment uh, because the mouth to lung 
really doesn't do it for me, and uh, it's never going to get a shiny review. Um, but as, as I still won't adhere to the branding, uh, I'm still, I will say that the Aspire Re Reacts Mini Kit is uh, right, all right to buy if you're a starter, uh, as well as it's a gateway from mouth to lung to direct to lung, it's two in one, rather than just buying a pen and then going to buy a sub on kit after, you may as well buy this, use it for a year, six months, whatever, and then take the next step in towards the cloud chasing. Um, Chris, you're the winner of last week's review. I've sent you a comment, uh, well, I've replied to your comment commenting, uh, asking you to contact me. That's on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, or even Snapchat. Uh, contact me, we'll talk about postage. That's for the. Um, What's off our profile? Um, you also need to let me know what colour you want. Um, for next week's review uh, giveaway, guys, we're giving away the Aspire Reeks Mini Kit, Reacts Mini Kit. Uh, comment on the video and make sure you're subscribed, uh, and we'll pick a winner next week. Uh, don't forget that kit is used. Um, next week, I'm doing the uh, What's off for Recurve RDA. Um, I've got it in gold. Unfortunately, I haven't got it with me because it's not been delivered yet. It will be delivered today or first thing in the morning. I will put a picture on Instagram when it does. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I've heard some good things and some bad. Um, and it looks really interesting on the bed. Anyway, that's about that. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat. Well, stay cool, guys. Cheers. <laughs>